Okay, team, we're back. Day four, leg day. Don't skip leg day, okay? When you train legs, your body produces more growth hormone, more testosterone. Those are anabolic hormones, okay? The reason leg day will produce such a big hormonal response is because the muscle, the muscles are humongous. If you can compare the size of your bicep to the size of your quadricep, it's not even close, okay? That being said, training legs hurts, so just get over it, and we're just going to do it together. Okay, so we're gonna do a dumbbell front squat for our quads. Still working on that mind to muscle connection, that neural drive. I'm holding my dumbbells, I'm gonna squat down. And as I stand up, I'm gonna be thinking about flexing my quads at the top. I'm gonna to squeeze them. I'm flexing my quads at the top of the movement just for a two count and then back down, back up. Don't get too crazy with the squat depth on this. Um, I don't wanna see any butt winking that's when your, basically your sacrum rips off of your L5 vertebrae. That's how you hurt yourself. So don't do that. All right. Let's see how this looks. Reps today are going to be um, uh, 20, 18, 16. I don't want them to be that high, but the weights are light. So we got to go for it here. All right. Here we go. So again, I'm squatting down. I stand up, squeeze my quads. and hold that squeeze at the top. We're gonna pair that now. Uh, we're gonna train hamstrings. We're doing a stiff leg deadlift. So I'm gonna tip forward until I feel a pull in my hamstrings. I'm gonna flex my hamstrings and glutes and squeeze them at the top. So butt goes back. Notice my low back is not rounding as I'm doing this. Three, so we're going to tip forward until you feel a stretch in the hammies. Four. We're going to match the number. We should be feeling this in our glutes and our hamstrings, not our low back. Okay, 20. We're going to rest about 45 seconds in between sets, 18, 16. Okay, last step. Again, even if your squats are a little shallow, so if I stop here, this is actually putting more load onto my quads as opposed to dropping all the way down, which will, which will load up my hip. So even stopping a little bit short of full depth loads my quads more, and then I squeeze them at the top. Again, that's the goal for this exercise. All right, last set. All right, part two, we're gonna be doing calf raises. Uh, those are the muscles, bottom part of your legs. <clears throat> we're gonna do three sets of 20. Now the reps are high on that, your calves can handle a lot. Again, at the top, we're gonna pause for a second or two before coming back down, okay? So we're gonna do our, our heel calf raise, pause and flex. Back down, right back up, pause and flex. We're gonna do three sets of 20. And try to keep equal pressure on your feet while you're doing this, because we don't want one calf bigger than the other. I'll just look there. All right, now that our legs are feeling like jelly, we're gonna hop back on the bike, row, run. We're gonna do uh, a descending reps here. So 3K, 2K, 1K for the last round. We're gonna pair that with a four count flutter kick. So that means my legs go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. If that's too many for you, do a two count flutter kick. So one, two, three, four, all right? So use your own, uh, fill it out as we get going. All right, so. I have, a, I have a question. Yes. Is that your tiny little mat on the floor? That there? is my. That's my gym. That's my gym towel. My wife was upset that I wrecked her yoga mat with my shoes last time, so I got demoted here. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, go. 